Overwatch 2. Oh boy. So it's no secret that the state of Overwatch is... And... Not great. From its release, it got mixed reviews. But now, those mixed reviews are universally agreed that this game is just bad. Now, if you still like this game, that's fine. But you just can't defend this game after the garbage balancing, the horrendous monetization issues, and the lack of content. Now, I ain't gonna talk about the balancing and the monetization, but the lack of content could have easily been fixed if they just released the PvE mode. The mode that made Overwatch 2... Overwatch 2. But, I mean, we all know how that went out. This whole scenario kinda reminds me of the Pokemon Home drama that's been going on. But, I ain't gonna talk about that because, one, this is an Overwatch video, and two, I hate the Pokemon community. So, without the PvE, what we got wasn't Overwatch 2. Heck, it wasn't even Overwatch 1 with DLC. It was Overwatch 0.5, because they removed more content than they added. How do you remove content and call it a sequel? I've never played Overwatch and I'm not the biggest fan of any of the games Activision Blizzard make, but you don't even need to be a fan to know that this is just unacceptable. Activision Blizzard is worth 61 billion dollars! How can they not make what's essentially DLC for one of their existing games? Now, running out of money for a project is possible, but this company is worth 61 billion dollars. How do you not have that? Where is that money? What are you doing with that money? You're clearly not using it for Overwatch, so what are you doing with it? And even if we subtract the PvE from the equation, Overwatch 2 is still a mess. It has nowhere as much care and effort in it as the first game. But at the end of the story, if you have never played Overwatch 2, don't play it, at least not at this current state. And if you've already been playing Overwatch 2 and you still enjoy it, well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're already too far gone.